OK, so f of g of x. Whenever you guys see this, I just want you to rewrite it like this if you don't understand it. It just means f of g of x. The egg? Is that what you guys called it? Yeah, I called it egg. Because the, the, the circle in the middle looks like an egg, and the top piece looks like a piece of egg. Oh. oh, OK, I see. I kind of see the egg. Um, all right, so f of g of x. Now, remember, we talked about this before. We did this at the beginning of the year, right? Everybody follows me with function notation, evaluating a function? So now, what is my input? Remember, what was nice about functions, we said, hey, that's the input. One is the input. What is my new input? G of x is the whole thing. So now, I'm not just inserting a number. I'm not inserting a variable or an expression. I'm inserting a whole function. Well, what is that function? At square root of x minus 3. So I can basically say f of square root x minus 3 is really what I'm inputting into my function. Okay. Now, let's just plug that in for x. So I have square root of x minus 3 all over square root of x minus 3 minus 1. I just plug x minus 3 in for x. I'm just replacing x with square root of x minus 3, because that's my input. So again, let's go and look at our domain. We have our two constraints, right? It has to be greater than or equal to 3 up top here, and it has to be greater than or equal to 3 here, but it can't equal 3 or greater than 3 here. So therefore, my domain is 3 to infinity. Okay. 